morning everyone. I'm Dr. Kenon An. Uh, this morning we are going to learn about the spiritual meaning of Asher tree. The Asher tree is a metaphor for Israel according to Genesis 21, 33. Uh, look at the picture. This is the Asher tree, fully grown Asher tree. The Asher tree as a metaphor for Israel and the God of eternity for Israel. Asher, Abraham planted a grove or Asher tree in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord everlasting God. Genesis 21, 33. So uh, this is Asher tree. Asher tree, remember Asher tree, the word Asher tree, and the place named Beersheba. Beersheba is the southmost area of Israel, a very hot area and dry area. In dry area, this kind of Asher tree can grow very tall. It's another miracle of God. Uh, the people of God can grow tall like Asher tree. Our pandemic situation is very dry and hot. But uh, by the grace of God, by the power of God, we can grow tall. Okay, the, scientifically, there are seven varieties of tamarix in Israel. Uh, a little bit different each other, but they belong to the same kind in Israel. But uh, here, the athel pine, tamarix aphila. This academic language seems most suitable kind to this passage. Athel pine is an upright evergreen tree with drooping twigs and a dense spreading crown with several heavy large limbs or boughs. It usually grows 12 meters tall. The trunk can be 18 centimeters in diameter. So it can grow very tall in dry area. The plant is used for getting food, medicine, and timber. It provides cool shelter for people and also as a quite attractive ornamental tree used to screen farm buildings and for street planting. Okay, I want to just look at this picture. You see, this is the shape of the Asher tree. Uh, it's similar to cedar trees. And then there's a kind of pine tree that is needles, the length of needles are very long. This is, it, it has long needles. And then the flower is different. It's flower blooming. When it is bloomed, it covers a whole body of tree. Imagine very tall, 12 meters tall tree is covered with this kind of the pinkish trees looking glorious okay whenever you look at this glory you can imagine the glory of god you can imagine the glory of people of god you can imagine christian glory at this time okay they even grow in africa dry areas throughout north africa to somalia and kenya arabian peninsula in Israel, Negev Desert in Israel, even Pakistan and India. It is a plant of the arid and semi-arid and subtropics and tropics. Oh, it can adjust uh, various the tropical condition, various climate condition. Uh, plants are tolerant of severe pruning, sprouting, freely from old wood okay oh, the important is this the trees the branches can be used for firewood okay in dry area uh in the middle east getting firewood is very much important so uh whenever they camp whenever they put up the camp they must get firewood so by cutting this tree, you can get firewood, okay? But when, whenever it is cut down, but next year, they produce a new bird, new branches, 
uh, it is really productive food. It is really uh, necessary tree. So the, this Asher tree is tolerant of severe pruning, even though it cut down the lower cut near to the root, but it is not dying. It produces new sprout, new branch again. That's the meaning of the tolerant of severe pruning, sprouting freely from old wood. So it, it means it's a, it is supply of firewood for nomadic people. Plants produce a deep and extensive root system ranging about 10 meters deep and 34 meters horizontally. Wow! Uh, the size of the root, deep rooting 10, 10 meters deep and then 34 meters wide. What do you imagine? Uh, it is really standing tree. It is not falling down. Okay. It, is, it has resistant power against any uh, desert storm because it is deep rooted. And even though in dry season, it can grow because of the uh, around three times wider rooting system compared to the branch spreading three times, more than three times wider. It can, it can get the moisture from the soil that's why uh, it is not dry during dry season. So it is called evergreen tree. So Christian must be rooting deep and wide so that we can suck, we can the, drink all the moisture, all the nutrition and effectively. That is the method we can grow tall. It is edible. Okay. The sweet mana-like substance that forms on the twigs is used to sweeten like cane sugar. Okay, this is a tree which produces uh, a kind of sugar. Okay, according to the, the record, my biblical record of the book of Exodus, uh, God commanded the Israelites to gather mana every morning. White mana, white color mana. Uh, then the nomadic people say it produces mana because whenever there's an insect bite, that portion, the leaves or twigs, it, the resin is oozed out, white resin oozed out, it is dried, it becomes the white particle. It's so looking like mana and then it is edible. If you choose, it's very sweet, okay? Uh, it produces this kind of sugar, tree sugar. Okay, it, it, it is used for sweetener. Whenever you make any drink and coffee, you can put, then it becomes sweet. It's like a sweetener, like cane sugar, which can be eaten with porridge or mixed with water to make a refreshing drink. Okay, fragrant. Uh, this, uh, this sweet mana is a fragrant because you know, every pine tree produces uh, the fragrant smell. So uh, you can enjoy the fresh air under this tree. Then you can make food, okay? You can make the refreshing drink by getting the white mana. Uh, so it's a really wonderful tree. Okay, it has medicinal use also. The bark is, the bark produce astringent. Astringent is the main substance of making uh, various the lotion, toner, skin lotion, cosmetic purpose. They are used as a goggle, okay, goggle to cleanse the mouth. And they're treating eczema, you know. Today many people are suffering from eczema, but it treats eczema and other skin diseases. Very useful tree. Uh, the other pine, Tamarix aphila, is a good shade tree, good shade providing tree growing in arid areas such as in Beersheba. Wonderful tree, very much the you know, blessed tree. Though. And then one more thing, it produces white pinkish flowers. The white or pinkish flowers of the Tamarix 
Aphila appears in late summer and autumn. Now, autumn, Abraham planted this Asher tree in Beersheba and called on the Lord, called on the name of the Lord. Genesis 21, 33. Okay? Uh, this tree also closely related to the worshiping God. For what Abraham planted the tree there, we must make careful, we must try to understand spiritual meaning. For what Abraham planted the tree there, we can imagine many reasons. The prophet Isaiah used Asher tree as a metaphor for Israel. Okay, as a metaphor for Israel. Now, we are called New Israel, Christians called New Israel. It could be understood as a metaphor for Christians. Okay, it is written in the Bible. Then I said, For how long, O Lord? And he answered, Until the cities lie ruined and without inhabitant, until the Lord has sent everyone far away. As the Ethel and the Alon leaves stumps when they are cut down, so the holy seed will be the stump in the land. Okay, now we are living pandemic era. Many people are dying. So from time to time, we are afraid of being killed because of coronavirus 19. But we must believe in this, the message. Okay, remember, look at the picture, this uh, cutting branches. If you, if you give a low cut, it is a stump. This cutting branch uh, can be symbolized the discipline of God or punishment of God. Or for the uh, for making you for making making you more productive, then uh, God is willing to give you pruning, according to uh, Gospel of John chapter fifteen. The God is a farmer; they're willing to give pruning so that, uh, that we may produce uh, more grapes, more fruitful. Okay. We, you, we must imagine three things, three purposes of the cutting down. It could be understood as a pruning. It could be understood as discipline. It could be understood as a, the judgment of God. So at this time, we must imagine the judgment of God, discipline of God, and then pruning of God. But uh, because of the Stump because of the cutting, because of the this the pruning, we are not dying. So Christians must be the remnant survivors, and then God's understanding God's holy purpose by using the remain people, by using the stump like people, the remnant. God is going to grant the new start, new start. So after expensive pandemic season, pandemic era, then we are entering into new dimension of good Christian life. So uh, don't be discouraged. Okay, have hope in God and have image of the glorious tree, Asher tree. We are going to bloom again. We are going to produce a lot of seed again. We are multiplying once again in the shade of the, in the grace of Jesus Christ. Okay. okay, we must understand. For what purpose Abraham planted the tree there in Beersheba? Number one, as a sign of peaceful occupation of the soil. Okay, there was a struggle, there was a conflict between the people, between Philistine, Abimelech, King Abimelech, because of the, on the ownership of well water, because of the... the uh, the, having right of the occupancy in the land of the um, Beersheba. So, but uh, God caused Abimelech to volunteer to make peace treaty with Abraham. So by making peace treaty, Abraham was able to get ownership of the newly dig well water and the ownership of occupancy. So peacefully, Abraham started to enjoy peaceful life, comfortable life in Beersheba. And then 
uh, in, commemor in commemoration, in remembrance of this kind of blessing of God, God, Abraham planted this Asher tree, Asher tree, small side Asher tree, but it's supposed to grow tall. Okay, number two, simply as a shading for the tent. Okay, it's, it's a small tree, but in the future, it provides enough shade to make the dwellers the, enjoy cool life, even the hot, dry season. So, uh, for the, what purpose? In the future, it grow. It becomes shade, cool shade providing tree. Okay. Number three, it's a symbol of sanctuary. Okay. Pay attention to this. Tall tree in dry area becomes symbol of sanctuary, symbol of worship place. Roofless temple. Okay. In the open place. Roofless temple. If there's no, there's no the temple building, but uh, it is understood as roofless temple. Okay. Abraham built up the altar, and it becomes worship place. According to the, the theologian Bush, Kalish, uh, James Nettel, uh, Abraham kept the public uh, worshiping there to the everlasting God, as he used to do in Genesis chapter 12, chapter 13. Chapter 18. So it means Abraham made another worshiping place in the southmost area of Israel. The tamarisk tree, the Asher tree, produces a lot of seed in a closed ovary after beautiful blooming flowers. In the season of blooming, it is covered with a thousand pinkish white blooming symbol of God's glory and His people. Okay, look at this picture. Uh, isn't it beautiful? This full of flowers covered over all tall trees. The, the, when people look at this, the flower blooming picture, then they imagine glory, glory of God. Okay, we must imagine uh, we are going to enjoy this kind of glorious days, okay, by the blessing of God. At this pandemic season, we must have this kind of beautiful image, beautiful the vision. We are supposed to restart, we are supposed to revive it gloriously by the intervention of God, okay, by the blessing of God. It is possible for man, it is impossible, but for God, everything is possible. Be positive, have imagine, okay, engrave this beautiful image, image in your heart. Basically, Asher tree provides a good shade to shelter from the sun in those sultry and hot countries, but it also for the religious use and to be a roofless temple, as the following words suggest. Abraham called on the name of the Lord. It means worshipped. Abraham planted the tree for the consecrating the place for making holy site, Makom. So in the Old Testament, holy site, worshiping place, roofless worshiping place is called makom. Makom means standing place. Makom means standing place. Uh, to, to discern makom is, is not difficult, it's easy because as you are traveling, you can see tall trees are standing or there's a sign of holy place, makom. The tall trees are standing. So another, another standing things you can notice, altar, okay, on a monumental stone, white stone, big white stones, big the pile of the stone is functioning as an altar. It, they are standing there toward the heaven, a standing place. It means there's a sure sign of worship place, sanctuary. It is called makom. Abraham planted the Asher tree for religious use, for religious purpose. Okay, Abraham appreciated God's great goodness in granting him the favor of Abimelech, Philistine king. Uh, Abraham, in the earlier stage of Abraham's life, as he entered there, he encountered the, the, the Philistine people. Even today, there is a strife. There's a tension between Israelite and 
Philistines, but Abraham experienced the same conflict, but by the intervention of God, okay, Abimelech noticed that, oh, God of Israel is abiding Abraham. The blessing, he, the, he's the source of blessing. And then Abraham, the Abimelech noticed Abraham blessed in many ways. And then uh, Abimelech, king of Philistine, made a decision. I, I must make a friend. I must make Abraham the friend of mine so that I, I wish to bless it like Abraham. That's the uh, motive of making peace treaty. So after peace treaty, after making peace treaty, Abraham uh, began to use uh, the well water as his own. So ownership of newly digging well water, Be'er Sheba, uh, belongs to Abraham. And then dwelling place also. This Be'er Sheba became the dwelling place of Abraham. So whenever you enjoy some the special blessing, then you must commemorate it by planting tree, by uh, the making the, the worshiping altar. It's, it's a, the action, action of faith. Even though God promised Abraham to give a whole land of Canaan, whole land of the promised land, but practically it is started from the Beersheba. Okay? Beersheba. It is starting. The starting is important. Okay? Then the small seed of faith is supposed to grow tall, like a mustard seed. Smallest mustard seed is supposed to grow tall. Okay? This just starting a blessing, okay, becomes prosperous, becomes visible, becomes nationwide, becomes uh, international wide. Uh, this is the Christian faith. Abraham made the peace treaty with Abimelech, Genesis 21. He calls upon the name of the Lord with the significant surname of God of the perpetuity, eternal God. Okay, Abraham called the Lord eternal, the Lord eternal. So uh, whenever we confess, we confess properly. Okay, the blessing of God should be eternal. Okay, God's Blessing of Emmanuel should be eternal, should be continued. Okay, when we are in Jesus Christ, the blessing of blessing should be continued, should be glorious, should grow tall tree like Asher tree. Amen. Okay, finally, we must understand what could describe Asher in Hebrew according to ancient picture letter. In the Hebrew letter Asher, the many uh, the hidden message embedded there. Okay, Eshel, the three consonant, Aleph, Shin, Lamed. Okay, Aleph, according to ancient picture letter, this is the picture of Oxed. What do you imagine from Oxed? Strength, power. Okay, strong leader. Strong leader called Aleph. Aleph also means 1000. 1,000 soldiers. You are the strong leader over 1,000 soldiers. Then you are a great leader. We must imagine this. Okay, and the next second consonant, Shin. Shin, okay, as you see, a picture of woman breast. Woman breast. Woman breast may mean your wife or your mother. It depends on the context. So, concept of HLT, you can imagine. Strong leader. And then who has breast? This woman, woman, uh, you can imagine, uh, if it is cow, it is a feminine cow, okay? Milking cow, milk producing cow. And then the final letter is Lamet. Lamet is a staff, shape of staff of shepherd. So the shepherd who is like a cow, shepherd. The, who are the shepherd, woman shepherd, you may imagine woman shepherd, but strong woman shepherd. And that the Lamed could be interpreted as a king because if you are shepherd over your people, then you are king. Okay, if it is greatest king, it can refer to God. Okay, this is the, the method of interpreting picture letter. Okay, let me show your attempt to, to interpret these picture letters. We must try the, the image, combined image of the three consonants. Number one, 
image of Asher tree could be ox, strong ox with breast, female cow, plus image of shepherd. So you can imagine image of strong woman shepherd. Okay, number two, image of Asher tree, the tree which provides motherly care. Okay, mother is the one who cook food for you. Motherly care, it is understood motherly care, food supply. So Asher tree is a food supplier, oily food, tasteful, the seed. And then it provides cooling resting place, cooling shade in the midst of dry desert area beer Sheba. So whenever you look at Asher tree, Oh, it provides cool shade, resting place for me. Hmm? Then you can imagine uh, the heavenly blessing, heavenly God. Heavenly God is like uh, the tall tree providing rest and glory and food. And it becomes firewood. It is really necessary. Okay, number three, image of Asher tree. The evergreen tree, evergreen tree, okay? The love of God is everlasting. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We must imagine evergreen blessing, okay? Asher tree shows evergreen tree, evergreen life and blessing. It lives long, okay? It seems to describe symbolically with the image of everlasting God. Everlasting God. With, uh, in Jesus Christ, we must imagine everlasting God, everlasting blessing, everlasting protection. Okay? Even pandemic situation, then we are pledged, we are guaranteed. There is a guarantee of everlasting protection, everlasting protection. Amen? As you confess the everlasting blessing, everlasting protection of God, then you are going to enjoy the everlasting blessing. This is the symbolic meaning of evergreen tree. The blessing of Asher tree is the evergreen, ever-present protection of God, ever-present glory of God. Okay, tradition connects the famous Tamaris tree, famous the Asher tree with the sanctuary of Beersheba. Okay, it prefigures Jesus. Jesus is our everlasting shelter. Amen? Jesus is our everlasting shelter. Jesus uh, inviting us now. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Okay? This kind of invitation, what the invitation is very necessary in pandemic situation. Jesus is calling you, inviting you. Come to Jesus, come to me, all you who are fearful, who are weary, and who are burdened, who are worrisome. Okay? Don't worry, come to me. I'll give you rest, okay? Like a uh, uh, Asher tree. Asher tree gives you cool shade, okay? Food, resting place, okay? You may imagine everything good comes from Jesus Christ. And then, then you may imagine this is an everlasting blessing coming from Jesus Christ, okay? We are supposed to enjoy this kind of blessing. Blessing of Asher tree, everlasting rest everlasting food, everlasting protection in Jesus Christ. God loves you. God bless you. God is inviting you to stand firm. Stand firm. You must become standing tree like Asher. Come, stand firm. And the standing altar like a, the roofless sanctuary. Okay? You should enjoy this kind of blessing of Asher tree in Jesus Christ. Glorify God. Amen.